want it to just go away. I want an answer. Sure, we all want the answer. Hashem doesn't owe us the answer, Larry. In the world of a serious man, the Cohen brothers are Hashem, gods of their own creation. But their film is a story, not a mathematical equation, and they give few answers. The color palette and art direction of the film are pleasing to the eye, but the meaning behind the film is not so easily consumed. The story focuses on the character of Larry Gopnik, another Coen Brothers leading man who struggles with his own insignificance. Well, thank you, but I... Larry Gopnik does not put much faith in religion. He believes in math because it is so logical and there's always a right answer. Larry is like the biblical figure of Job, undergoing a series of misfortune. He is surrounded by a Jewish community who try to convince him that Hashem is in charge of his life. Hashem doesn't owe us anything. The obligation runs the other way. Why does he make us feel the questions if he's not going to give us any answers? But no one can answer the questions Larry has about his faith. Am I right? So, okay. The Cohen brothers use theories of quantum mechanics like the uncertainty principle. And that's Schrodinger's paradox, right? And Schrodinger's cat. Is the cat dead? Or is the cat not dead? <laughs> the principle of Schrodinger's cat where you don't know if the cat is dead or alive, so it exists in a state of both, is well illustrated by the opening portion of A Serious Man, where the mysterious figure of Tretel Goshkevar is either a dibbik or not, dead or alive, we never know. He exists in a state of life and death. The same is true of the characters in the main story. Will they survive threatening circumstances at the end of the film? I understand the physics. I understand the dead cat. But you, you can't really understand the physics without understanding the math. So that delta x equals the square root of 0.077. Larry understands how things work, because that is scientific. But the knowledge he desperately craves is why things happen the way that they do, an answer that religion provides. Even I don't understand the dead cat. His friends tell him to talk to the rabbi, but Larry does not derive any comfort from their stories, because the stories don't explain anything. <laughs> That's right! Things aren't so bad. Look at the parking lot, Larry. They're just meant to be comforting. Just look at that parking lot. Rabbi Nochner eulogizes Larry's enemy, Cy Abelman, as a serious man, which makes such an impression on Larry that Cy keeps showing up in his dreams. I'm a serious man, Larry. I know that, so if I've got it wrong... But Larry misses the point that the eulogy the rabbi delivers is not fact. It's not a mathematical equation. It's just another story to comfort people. Cy Abelman is no greater a man than Larry Gopnik. Larry allows the story to fool him, rather than to look at everything he has accomplished. This is a ser- I'm a ser- I'm a- I've tried to be a serious man, you know? As Larry's brother puts it, Look at all of the Hashem has given you! Arthur, what do I have? <laughs> you have a family! You have a job! Larry's high intelligence betrays his wisdom the wisdom to accept things as they are. Accept the mystery. At one point, Gopnik wonders if Hashem is trying to tell him his suffering makes him one with Cy Abelman. To tease the audience with this possibility, the Coens create a sequence that visually unites Cy and Larry as they go about their day. Notice how our eyes follow Larry in one shot, and he turns into Psy in the same location on screen. We see them in their car, and we see what they see. The Coens further tease the audience by presenting Larry in heartwarming or positive scenarios that end badly for him and turn out to be just nightmares. 
The Coen brothers direct the story as an investigation not on why bad things happen to good people, but why do bad things happen at all? A tornado? A car accident? Sudden illness? One thing is clear. We all have a personal responsibility to deal with the tragedies in our lives. Everything that I thought was one way turns out to be another. If you approach a serious man the way you would a math problem, it won't add up. The uncertainty principle. It proves we can't ever really know what's going on. The purpose of the film is not to get answers, but to ask questions. And that, in a way, is your answer. I mean, is Hashem trying to tell me that Cy Abelman is me? Or that we are all one or something? How does God speak to us? It's a good question.